said we've lost the battle. Did I say we've lost the war? Very good. We haven't lost the war. Did I say we lost the war, but we lost this battle? And that is because the most brilliant political science commander in American history is running their war for them. With the most powerful will I've seen in my lifetime, a single-minded maniac, a psychopath in the White House, has destroyed virtually everything I just mentioned on this program. But we haven't lost the war. The war has just begun because 30 million to 40 million Americans have finally awakened to what the psychopath has done to this country, and they want to stop him from doing more. They want to stop him before it's too late. Am I wrong about that or am I right about that? You're right about that. Well, we know that it's not Paul Lyon Ryan who's going to stop him. I named him that last night on my Facebook account, Paul Lyon Ryan. Isn't it astonishing that Harry Reid supports him, Barbara Boxer supports him, Barack Obama supports him, John Boehner supports him? What more do you need to know than what I told you when Ryan appeared on the stage? And by the way, I was the first one. Remember when they, they ushered him out of nowhere to run with Mitt, weak-willed Romney? Remember that? When, me, when, when Mitt, milquetoast Romney was running. Remember when they floated Paul Ryan, what I said? He's a nobody. He's a quizzling. Watch out for him. I was the only one who saw right through Paul Ryan. Thanks for calling. Copy of Government Zero goes out to you. Why? Because I said we've lost the battle, but did I say we've lost the war? The answer is no. Because I have a program, a plan to save America. And I'm not going to read it to you now. But I have an entire chapter on saving a nation. And there's a chapter and there are points on how to save the nation. There is a plan. There's a battle plan in the book. It's not just fluff. It's not like most books that end with nothing other than a screed and a scream. I have a plan. I have a plan that begins. I'll, I'll start with a few of them. 40 Actions to Save America. And it runs from page 313 right to the end of the book. 40 Actions to Save America. I've given you the top 40 that come to my mind as most urgent in 2015-16. And I want you to note that not all of these uh, actions have to do with the federal government. Some should be accomplished at the state or local levels. Some should be accomplished outside of any governments at all. There is much that we can do in the private sector with the choices we make and the power we have over those who want to influence those choices. We have tremendous power. 40 actions to save America. One, start a nationalist party. I don't mean for 2016. Start a nationalist party. Two, close the borders completely for seven years. Three, deport all illegal aliens in American prisons. Make sure that when you quote me, you add the American prisons. Four, repeal the anchor babies law. Five, make English the official language of the United States. Six, require government-issued ID to vote. Seven, reintroduce civics classes to elementary and secondary schools. Eight, restore to active duty all military officers purged by Obama. Offer them a generous bonus as an incentive to return. Nine, restore physical standards in the military. Ten, restructure military spending. Eleven, cut the rest of government significantly. Twelve, repair our relations with Russia. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm giving you twelve of the forty points. 40 Actions to Save America. You can read the rest of them yourself by reading Government Zero. Actions, actions, actions speak louder than words, words, words. Can you name one Republican candidate who actually has 40 actions to save America? I don't know of any. Even Donald Trump, who I strongly support, I haven't heard 40 actions to save America. I'm sure I could write them for him. I'm sure his staff has already gotten a copy of my book. I hope so. Because there's gold in there. There's enough gold in, in Government Zero for Mr. Trump to run right to the presidency with. And when he does win, we might just be able to convince the people around him to save the country by instituting those 40 actions to save America. We just might be able to do it. I don't know, though. I don't know what's going to happen. The problem is once somebody wins, they have to run a country. And to run a country, they have to hire people. And once they hire people, you don't know what you're going to get. You know, people are very deceptive to get a job. You get it? Look what we did when we put the Republicans in power uh, during the last election. And I count myself as one of the most important influencers on uh, getting the Republican power back. I remember when, when Stop the Coming Civil War came out. I went on the air exactly a year ago, and I begged you to vote. I said, most of you won't vote. You're diehard conservatives. You're fed up with the Republican Party. And I said, hold your noses and please go out and vote. There was, yes, it was a low turnout comparatively, but there was a very high turnout amongst conservatives. You don't know that. That's something that the boys on CNN haven't figured out yet. The conservative turnout in the last election was extremely high because of my book, Stop the Coming Civil War. 
And I said, after we put the Republicans back in power, we're going to lobby them to do what we want done. Well, we lobbied them and we got the opposite. They stabbed us in the back. The Quislings, Boehner, McConnell, etc. Ryan put him in the pack. They stabbed us in the back. They cut the conservative heart out. So when Trump wins, there's no guarantee that he's going to appoint people who will actually act out what the people have been screaming for. Savage. So that was Michael Savage Tuesday on the broadcast. Brian Sussman filling in. He's talking about, of course, an email from someone he highly respects who told him, Michael, we've lost the battle. And he ties all that into the new book, Government Zero. But you have to note what he said right off the top. Yes, we've lost the battle. We've lost probably more than just one. We've lost them on many fronts. and This has been going on for quite some time. But we haven't lost the war. That's the hope. We haven't lost the war. There's still hope. I love these 40 action points. It's not just words, it's action in this book. But listen to some of these. I mean, how how could... I've just never understood how anybody with the rational mind could possibly defend the anchor baby policy that we have in this country. How could you do that? It does. Do you know, it doesn't apply to diplomats. So when an ambassador from, you name the country, comes to the United States and has a kid, kid's not a U.S. citizen, it shouldn't... You're here as a tourist. It doesn't matter. Your kid should not be an American citizen. And now we've got an entire tourist industry, so to speak, that's been set up with people coming from all over the world, spending time in sometimes very nice hotels with a concierge doctor. And bingo, they have the baby. It's a citizen of the United States of America. That is crazy. Slip across the border, seven months pregnant. Walk into a hospital in San Diego, spit out a child. Hey, an American. Chain migration ensues. That's nuts. That's got to stop. Deport the illegal aliens in our American prisons. Hello. Stop all immigration for seven years. I believe that there was a time in our American history where we did cease immigration so that there would be an opportunity for people to assimilate. That's the idea. Assimilate. Okay? I, I Your culture may be really, really important to you, and I'm, I'm sure your family line, lineage is wonderful, and you've been on the genealogy website. That's all cool. I, I love that. That's, that's wonderful. But can I tell you, you're in America. It's got to be American first, like so many of our fathers and mothers and grandparents they came, they were so proud to be American. We need to get that spirit back. And the Nationalist Party. The Nationalist Party. The uh, House supporting the Republican Party on the national level been working out for you lately. Just asking the question. I know I'm speaking to people all over the United States right now. In some of the various states, your Republican Party is really doing a great job. At the local level, state level, Republican Party in certain states is just fantastic. Here in California... We may as well not even have a Republican Party. I don't know how Republicans ever going to be elected to statewide office ever again. I mean, it's such an uphill battle the way the system is rigged. I mean, now in California, we've got everyone has motor voter. We've taken it up a notch. California, we are going to flood the roles of those getting their licenses with non-citizens because we have a bill that was signed by Jerry Brown. This new Motor Voter Act, that's what it's called, automatically registers to vote all eligible voters. All, all you have to do is, doesn't matter who you're, citizen, non-citizen, doesn't matter. Illegals, illegals can even get driver's licenses. That's right, those here illegally can actually get a driver's license. Now you sign up, there is no mechanism in place to determine whether you are a citizen or not. It's basically going to open up the floodgates for everyone to automatically be registered to vote unless you opt out automatically be registered to vote unless you opt out. The deck is so stacked. These are the things that have to be stopped. They have to be stopped. Yes, we've lost some battles. We have not lost the war. That's where you need to take hope. You want to comment on what Michael had to say? I highly encourage you to give a call. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-SAVAGE. Don't forget michaelsavage.com for all your dot com for all your news needs. And you can go to michaelsavage.com to sign up for his free Savage new le- newsletter and Government Zero. This is the Savage Nation. 
Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. Brian Sussman filling in on this, the Savage Nation. One of the things I love, you know, I get to speak to people, for the most part, from the San Francisco Bay Area every morning on my program on KSFO, but when I get behind Savage's mic, I get to talk to people from all over the United States. One of them, Ron, WFTL Florida. Ron, quickly, please. You're on the air. Hi, Brian. Thank you for taking my call, uh, first-time caller. Um, I just wanted to share with you how the immigrants can double-dip on the anchor baby. Here in Florida, as you can uh, might know, uh, the Cubans are speeded very, very uh, uh, differently than most immigrants in the country. They get pretty much what they want. But recently I, I read an article in the paper that a young woman from Cuba came here to have the baby. Not only was she having the baby so the baby could get all the benefits that we freely give them, but she stated that the father of the child was her 85-year-old uncle who lived in Miami. So now when what? the uncle dies, which will be soon, the baby will also get his Social Security. It's out of control. And, and to that you say there ought to be a law, and to that you say Savage is right, because in the book that comes out next week, Government Zero, one of the things that he, he, he really proclaims in no uncertain terms is we've got to get rid of this anchor baby thing. It, it, oh, it, it, Ron, that's just, that's outlandish. So it's, it was the uncle of this girl that is the father? Oh, she said it, that the uncle was the father, so it's just, if and when he dies, the baby will also get... So, yeah, so who... Shorty till he's 18, so she lied, but they're, they're scheming. So on top sure. of scheming to get sure. the money from having the baby... They're scheming, and they're well-coached. I mean, you can go to all those these uh, resource centers that are set up all over the United States, and they're not resource centers for uh, people who have been in this country for generations. These are resource centers for those generally speaking, who have come to this country on the down low, and they coach them on how to just take advantage and pick the pockets of we the people have been working our tuchuses off for all these years, paying our taxes. Unbelievable. But not really. Uh, this is where we are. We've lost some battles. We're not going to lose the war. Take hope. And make sure you have a great weekend. And make sure you get a copy of Mike's book, Government Zero. Go to michaelsavage.com for all your news needs throughout the course of the weekend. It's always a pleasure, always an honor. Guys in the back, Robert, Jim, thank you very much. Other than my producer, Sherry, in San Francisco, you guys are the best. How could I be the man when you're clearly the producer, man? Thank you guys very much. Savage back next week. This is Brian Sussman on this, The Savage Nation.